The Biden administration has exposed the brain rot of Western liberals. At the NATO summit in Washington on Thursday, the U.S. president referred to Ukraine's President Zelensky as President Putin, referred to Kamala Harris as Vice President Trump, and said he is, quote, following the advice of my commander-in-chief on important military decisions. This man's brain clearly does not work. It is done. Finito. No mas. Dementia has sunk in the rear naked choke, and Joe Biden's neurology is tapping. Americans are watching live proof that their country does not require a president with functioning gray matter in order for decisions to get made and policies to be enacted in the executive branch of the U.S. government. The wars and militarism have ticked on uninterrupted. The authoritarian agendas keep getting rolled out, and the same political status quo continues to be advanced. You could not ask for more conclusive proof that, for all the fuss that gets made about U.S. presidents and presidential elections, it is nothing more than a figurehead position for an empire that is not actually run by its official elected government. And it's only fitting that the U.S. president's brains should be leaking out his ears, even as the brain rot of the ideology which gave rise to him is exposed in front of the entire world. There is a kind of poetical beauty in the fact that the so-called moderates of Western liberalism are cheerleading for the re-election of a half-dead dementia patient while his administration facilitates an active genocide in Gaza perpetuates a world-threatening proxy war in Ukraine, prepares for war with Lebanon, and militarizes with increasing aggression against Russia and China, all while killing the Earth's ecosystem and contributing to the poverty, sickness, and oppression of the American people at home. The brain rot of their worldview has a guy with an actual rotting brain as its official representative. The Biden administration has completely discredited every value that Western liberals claim to uphold. Peace, justice, human rights, a free press, opposition to racism, opposition to tyranny. These freaks just plumb forgot that genocide is a bad thing on October 7th and probably won't remember again until the imperial propaganda machine needs to use that accusation against the next government that the empire has targeted for regime change. The moderates and centrists of the Western world are in reality violent extremists. And not just violent extremists, but the most murderous and destructive extremist group on the face of this planet. Not one group on Washington's list of designated terrorist organizations has a body count that's even a tiny fraction of what the U.S. Empire has racked up just in the 21st century alone. This is the political ideology that Biden has aligned with throughout the entirety of his far too long career. From when he was just a baby swamp monster elected to the Senate at age 30, all the way up until now as he watches all the cognitive flotsam and jetsam of his decades of beltway soul-selling blur together like oil paints on the palette of his ruined cerebral matter. This is who Joe Biden is. This is who Western liberals are. They are the carnage, starvation, and disease in Gaza. They are the biosphere strangling to death under the boot of ecocidal capitalism. They are the nuclear missiles being rolled into position around the world. They are a dying brain and a dying heart on a dying world of their own making. Hopefully the death of this toxic, omnicidal ideology won't be too far behind the death of Joe Biden.